A lot going on today, setting up three different tractors for snow removal. And did you know you can put a tire chain on the wrong way? Check out our different setups and let us know at the end which one's your favorite. Hey, bet you didn't know, hidden chain storage right here, right inside the old school 1025R. Bada bing. Am I good? Don't put that winter hat on though. Okay, so we're setting up the snowblower on the Summit tractor. I uh, had it on the 1025R, and this is fairly common. Just forgot about it. I'm gonna have to shorten the PTO shaft, so I'm gonna go grab the Sawzall. I don't know, it looks like probably four or five inches. Gotta knock it down. A lot of good videos. I'm probably never gonna make one. Ritterbit will do, has a really good video on shortening the PTO shaft. I think um, Tony does too uh, on his channel. But we're going to do it real quick and uh, get this thing hooked up. But I don't want to go out there. It's all cold. It's nice and cozy in here. Bada bing. Take five seconds, hit subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and if you need something for your tractor, a tractor attachment of some kind, any of these tools you see here, check us out, goodworkstractors.com. We sell and ship all over the country, every day of the week. Okay. Try this one over here, I suppose. Fix this chain. All right, so just posted a video today. First time ever installing tire chains, okay? So I, I learned something. I installed this one backwards. I had no idea what the heck you guys were even talking about until I came out here and looked at it. And so these cross things here, the little folded over ends, basically I should, 
The inside's on the outside, the outside's on the inside. I gotta flip it 180. So I think that's what I gotta do. So I'm just gonna take this off. I'm gonna try putting it on in a different way. I'm gonna lay it on the ground and drive back on it and see if that's a little bit better too and helps me get a little bit more, I don't know. The consensus was not having the chains perfectly spaced wasn't that big of a deal. And in fact, even getting them this tight on here is probably not that big of a deal either. Um, anyway, so we're gonna try this in a different way, get it on there the right way, be ready to go. Gouges on some of these. You gotta get a, hopefully you can get a close-up of that. Actually, I'm gonna talk about that right now before we get started. Something just caught my eye, I looked down. I can see specifically the marks on my concrete from where these chains are hitting. And there's a few spots, they're all little shiny marks where they rubbed and made contact on there. I can feel a change in the texture, whether that's a, a groove in it or, or not, but I don't know, you guys that are saying that these things don't cause any damage on concrete, I, I, I'm seeing something different right here. All right, so trying this tire chain thing a different way, uh, have seen some other videos, okay? Just lay the chains down and drive on them and then wrap it around there and, and I don't know, that didn't necessarily seem easier to me. I actually couldn't get it on there quite as tight, like one link, not as tight, although other YouTube comments said I don't need to have them as tight as they were, so I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm learning as I go, but it took about 20 minutes, I guess, uh, to swap that out with this setup here, but uh, drove it around, held in place. I think it's good enough, so I guess uh, we'll find out when it's time to push some snow. We are proud to be sponsored by RimGuard Solutions, a liquid ballast weight. It goes right inside your tires, completely hidden. We're big on safety on this channel. These tractors are just too light and tippy right out of the factory. Not only is it gonna help with safety, keeping those rear tires planted on the ground, it helps with loader efficiency and traction too. The benefits of RimGuard include being the heaviest all natural liquid ballast weight on the market. It's not gonna corrode your rims like the old calcium chloride. It's not gonna freeze and it's available at over a thousand dealers nationwide. Find the dealer near you at RimGuardSolutions.com. All right, got the baby blade here. I don't know if we can spin this around on the quick hitch or not, but. The idea here uh, is to uh, have this the other way so it doesn't cut down and want to like pull itself down into the snow. It's supposed to be some sort of secret trick. I want to use it on gravel. Oh, spun. This barely misses. I was planning on having to take off the, uh, the quick hitch. Well, not take off the quick hitch. Take the blade off and spin it around, then put it back on. It's got three positions. Well, you can see on the other side, it's got five positions. On this side here, it's got three positions. Drop that down in there. Boom. And so we're gonna offset it just to hair. Let's see now with the blade curved back that way on gravel or dirt or mud, it's not gonna wanna dig down in. It's gonna kinda ride along and in theory, pack a little bit of snow down on there, which you want. Have a nice separation there between your stone and what you're clearing off. And uh, I don't know, it worked pretty well. So we're gonna try it out. 
you know, a, uh, a fair question you might ask would be, hey, don't you have a lot of hitch hangers like you like you're like the manufacturer of them? And that's that's really a fair point. I don't have any here. They're all at the shop. This is at my house. And uh, I don't have time to go over there right now. But I understand where you're coming from. So these are our hitch hangers, if you didn't know. And why I'm putting them on here with that rear blade is in case I need a little bit more down pressure on there. I can add suitcase weights, get a little better scrape. And I don't know if I'll need it or not. I'm gonna try it without it, see how it goes. But if you're using a rear blade to maybe move dirt around or something, or if you wanted to really get through your snow and down to your, your surface, then uh, that extra weight comes in real handy. You can put three 70 pound weights or 41 pound weights on both sides, so up to like 420 extra pounds of weight. Yeah, plus 30 pounds in the hitch hangers too. All right, folks, so we've got three setups going on here, hoping to have enough snow to, to mess around with all of them. Um, trying out, we got the pull type snow blower, we took it off the 1025 and put it on the Summit TX25. 54 inch blower on there, good fit on there as well. Maybe could run a, a 60 inch too, but I've got a 54 here, so that's what we're gonna use. Now this does have uh, rear hydraulics on it, all right? And so I'll probably at some point switch this over, put a hydraulic chute rotation on here and then plug it into there. But we have it set up with an electric rotation right now. So if you don't have extra hydraulics on the back of your tractor, and you don't want to have to manually use a crank to crank this chute left or right. Well, then you can get yourself the electric chute rotation, just gator clips clamp onto your battery up front, has a controller there and everything else as well. Works really well, second season using this. This is gonna be a good test for this blower. We're gonna have, they're saying 15 to 20 inches, some spots two foot, and um, I'll take this thing out in the yard, wherever the heck we can find some deep spots and test it out and see if you can drive through the snow and, and tackle deep snow like that. So we have snow pushers set up on the front of both of these. Uh, this is Summit's snow pusher over here. We have the HLA snow pusher on, on the 1025R. You can see the tire chains on here. This is gonna be my, my off-road unit, all right? So my gravel and, and dirt unit, although I might do the concrete pads with it, but I'm trying something out um, in particular because I don't know how well or how solid, how frozen maybe is the best term, that the gravel and the dirt lane are. Rear blade, using it in reverse. You know, kind of like using it the wrong way to use it the right way. And um, so we're gonna see how that works with that, that edge kind of laying backwards, so to speak, so that it's not one to dig down and, and take our dirt and, and gravel along with it. More just take the snow and maybe leave a little skiff of snow in between there to make a layer. Got the hitch hangers on here, add extra weight for down pressure if we need to. And then over on the 2038R, another one that we're gonna try, get the landscape rake. That, that seems weird for snow, doesn't it? But uh, a lot of folks have talked about this and I think it can make sense, right? I mean, if the snow's kind of sticky and packed together, it's probably not gonna fall and work its way through these tines here. So we're gonna give that a shot too. Um, good for, again, gravel is, is the thought process here without wanting to dig down too much and scrape your gravel away. That's a big concern. Have seen some folks as well take a piece of the, the UHMW that we sell and clamp it here all the way across, make it like a, almost sort of like a, a rear blade that way. Get, you know, a five, six inch tall piece of UHMW and put it on there. A lot of different creative uses out there and we're gonna experiment with them. That's just kind of what we do. And, um, I don't know, it's fun to try it out. So one thing we don't have here, haven't set it up yet, I'm gonna set it up really soon, is gonna be the Rammy snowblower. That's for ATVs and UTVs, things that don't have a PTO shaft, right? And so it um, comes with different kits. You can mount right on the front of that and blow snow. They work really well. Um, we've been selling quite a few of them. And so a good alternative, if you don't have you know, a big old tractor like this, it's a self-powered system. So it just has its own gas engine on there. We're gonna give that a shot. There's plenty of winter left, it hasn't, Technically, is today the first day of winter? Well, it might actually technically be winter now. It's, it's coming really soon. So we're gonna try that out as well. And that's honestly another good reason to subscribe if you haven't done so yet. We're always trying new stuff around here. So hit that button down below completely free. And all these attachments you see here, all 
the blowers, the blades, the rakes, the pushers, all that stuff. We sell and ship it all over the country every day of the week. Goodworkstractors.com, give us a shot. Hey, so I wanna thank you viewers for the tips on the tire chains, all right? That really helps me out. I mean, I'm sitting here looking at it. I had no idea it was on backwards. So I think we got it set up the right way now. Excited to see how those work too. But thanks again for watching. Until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.